It never gets old, those views from space, especially of our beautiful blue oceans. A recent space station experiment called HICO used a hyperspectral camera to study our waterways a little more closely. Today we're finding out how the Environmental Protection Agency is taking that data and using it to develop Earth applications. Our project was the first attempt that, it, that EPA used to do environmental monitoring from space station, using space station data. And in our project, we took HICO uh, spectral data and imagery and created four models to estimate water quality parameters uh, in four estuaries along the, the Florida Panhandle. So how does HICO work in relation to what you needed the information for? Okay. HICO is a scanning instrument and it produces an image of the area, your study area, that also gives you the, the spectrum of light that's leaving the water um, and the atmosphere from that area. So we took that spectral data, removed the atmospheric effects, so we were only seeing the, the light coming out of the water, and then we were able to create, uh, through mathematical methods, uh, regression analysis primarily, um, uh, models where we could use the spectral data to predict what the parameter, for instance, chlorophyll concentrations were for um, any given pixel in the estuaries that we were looking at. How did the EPA find out that there was such an experiment and then there was such data out there that you could use space to help look at things on Earth? Uh, we had some folks down at our, our laboratory in Gulf Breeze, Florida, who had interacted with people from the Stennis Space Center. So there was um, already a knowledge of the space station and we put in a proposal to EPA through the Office of Research and Development to use um, HICO data to fund our project. So in that sense, it started with a small group of people who were kind of co-located uh, professionally and we kind of were hoping and we have influenced the agency about uh, the use of this, this type of data. Tell us again about the project itself and, and how it worked and, and what you actually studied, the areas that you studied. Okay. The project actually consisted, it was a, it was a really, it was a multi-laboratory, intergovernmental operation uh, where we had two EPA national laboratories as well as the Navy from the Stennis Space Center um, and 15 individuals involved. And um, we had a, a small field program for the four estuaries we were looking at, which were uh, uh, Pensacola Bay, Chockahatchee Bay, uh, St. Andrew Bay, and St. Joseph Bay in Florida. So whenever there was um, a space station overflight schedule, we would, we would mobilize the field crews to get out and collect water uh, and other characteristics of the waters in those estuaries and to verify the models that we created from the spectral data from the space station, from HICO. What have you learned from what you found? Well, one of the things we've learned is, well, there's several things we've learned. One is um, we've learned how to atmospherically correct that data, how to remove the atmosphere to get the water-only signal. And that was quite a, quite a task for us and quite a, um, uh, an effort. Uh, we've also learned that the bays in Florida kind of characteristically behave in an oceanographic sense, like other bays along the Gulf Coast. Um, they have a connection to the Gulf of Mexico, but they also receive water from uh, springs and streams up in the estuaries, and that tends to generate um, phytoplankton blooms where you would think there would be phytoplankton blooms. Um, in general, also, the, the water, as everyone who's ever recreated down in that part of the world knows, the water is really clear. There's not a whole lot of chlorophyll in it not a whole lot of sediments in it. And um, so we were able to, in some respects, confirm what's already known. It's just now we've been able to extend the range of HICO um, and the capabilities of HICO into, a whole, into the coastal and estuarine environment. It may be obvious, but why, do, why is the EPA interested in this kind of data? What, what's important to learn for you guys? Well, what we would like to do is, and, and we've kind of gone along, we are along the path, is to take that information uh, create a smartphone application for that, impl imp that information so that uh, people and environmental managers from those areas can access the data to see what the conditions are in their personal areas, their favorite beaches, and then also our hope is that with that 
kind of knowledge as one goes to the weather station to, as, to get the weather data from your area. You find out what the water quality conditions are in your area and then uh, we hope that the public will then be supportive of management activities to keep the water quality as good as it is or improvement. So we're trying to uh, reach out to the public in that sense. And that'll do it for us here from the Payload Operations Integration Center. Now back to you at Mission Control in Houston.